Good morning, YouTube. I'm looking here uh, at one of my Raspberry Pis. This is actually a Raspberry Pi 2 Model B, and this is connected via HDMI, but I've got a live TV signal here. I've got the volume muted, and I'll show you here if you press the enter key on your remote that brings up this program information menu you can get the same display here by pressing the i key on a keyboard this one on the far end you can actually record this program just a single click it will record from now until the end of that particular program and then this one is what i wanted to show you this is the audio settings menu. If you're running HDMI, you typically want to do this, enable pass-through, and what that tells the Raspberry Pi to do is just send whatever audio is coming in over the network, send that out through the HDMI cable and don't process it, don't amplify it, don't up or down mix it, just pass it through. So that's what you want to do with HDMI. For analog, you don't want to enable pass-through. In fact, you have to make sure pass-through is disabled. You've got the volume is up to the maximum value. You may need to amplify the audio to get a proper or a, you know an adequate input level what I found is on my analog TV, I needed to run this slider all the way over to the maximum amplification. And then I was able to use the TV's volume control. This really helped in my case. It may or may not help in your particular situation if you're using analog audio. It just depends on what sort of signal level your analog audio device needs. So let me take you out and I'll show you what the analog TV looks like and show you how that analog audio part works. Okay, hello YouTube. This is my analog TV here. Go over here to that same audio menu. So we have the audio menu here and you can see I've got the Volume and the amplification are both on full settings, and this is particular to this TV. You know, your your analog device might uh, respond differently. There I have the enable pass-through option is disabled, and what that lets me do, I picked up a radio channel with a audio here, and now you can see... You know, I can run the volume up. Here's the kind of the boot up volume. When I turn the TV on, it comes up at eight. And then one gives me, you know, just barely audible. Okay, so this is back to the HDMI connected uh, Raspberry Pi 2. And I just wanted to bring you back here because it's a little easier to see. And there's one step I forgot to mention here. So again, I'm on the audio, the little speaker icon. The one other thing you need to do is you have to click here, set as default for all videos. That one there is a little bit confusing because it's, it's actually set as default for everything. And the reason you need to do that in a video is that's the only place the audio settings menu shows up. There's probably some other way to get to it, but I've not seen that. But I click here, set as default for all videos, but again, that's for all audio playback. And yeah, so that kind of concludes the audio setup. You need to do it from either a TV, if you have live TV enabled, or from videos problem is the music one doesn't have that. For HDMI, you want to enable pass-through and set that as the default. For analog audio, you want to deselect the pass-through mode. Then you can adjust your 
volume and amplification to suit if your device you're plugging into has its own volume control, you probably want to set those volume and amplifications to close to the maximum output and then let your device control the audio volume. If your device doesn't have volume control built in, then you can use the Raspberry Pi volume to adjust and then you use the amplification setting to kind of set the the range over which the volume control works. I'll put this in a in my cable cutting video playlist. I'll put a link to that up here in the video. And uh, any comments or questions, you can put that below the video description. There's a comment section there. Subscribe to my channel to check out some of my other videos. And as always, thanks for watching.